Hello people and welcome to this new and last class of this SketchUp course. In this episode, we will see how to export our layout document into different formats. As you can see on the screen, we are working with the version of the Barcelona Pavilion in where we made some changes. But to be honest, I think that these changes are not improving the quality of the pavilion. So in order to export our final PDF, I will use the previous version. So I'll go over File, Document Setup, and here I will select my SketchUp link, I will say Relink, and I will select the previous SketchUp file. Open. Then we will have to wait a little bit because all the viewports have to be rendered again. And once it is done, we close this window and we have this previous model of a SketchUp with the walls and with the stairs as they are in the reality. I will adjust the position of the north. I'll go over page number three in order to do a little bit shorter the frame of the layout. I will select this dimension which is here. I don't know the reason. So once we are ready and we have polished up all the details, then we should go over File, Export. And here we have three options, Images, PDF, and DWG. The option that most of the times we are gonna use is PDF. So let's start with PDF. I will save this document in a specific folder. The name will be Barcelona Pavilion, type of the format PDF, then Let's click on save. This window pops up. We have different options. We can select the pages that we want to export. All is correct. The root is already there. Image resolution. High is what I recommend. Image compression. Let's say maximum quality. And as far as our PDF can have different layers, we can create the same layers as in our layout document. Well, this is up to you. I prefer to don't have any layer in my PDF document. And finally, we can mark this option, show export in PDF viewer. So let's export it. And here we have the result, page number one, page number two and page number three. Remember that our PDF, thanks to the hybrid mode, will have its lines perfectly sharp because they will work as vectors. So if I zoom in, we will see the quality of those lines. And at the same time, we will not lose the textures of the pictures because they are working as images. Back to layout, let's export now our document using the next option. That option was called images. If I click it and I expand this window, we have two formats available, PNG and JPEG. You have to know that JPEG is a compressed type of format, so we will lose a bit of quality in the image and PNG is thought mainly in order to keep the transparency in the background. This format will keep the alpha channel. Anyways, normally we will use JPEG. It is the most universal format for images in the world. So one click on here and save. Then we have to select the pages that we want to export, the size, width and height in pixels and the resolution. Take in mind that 96 pixels per inch is a good resolution in case that you want to send that image by email, not in case that you want to print it. If you want to print it, at least 150. And in case that you have a really high standards, then 250 or 300 pixels per inch. Finally, again, we can mark show export in image viewer. So let's say export. And once it's done, I have my presentation separated into different JPEG images. This can be useful in case that I want to create a PowerPoint presentation or I want these images to place them in my InDesign document, something like that. If I close it, you can see now the folder in where I have the PDF document and then these three images called Barcelona Pavilion 1, Barcelona Pavilion 2 and Barcelona Pavilion 3. Back in layout once again, if we move over File, Export, we have this third option, DWG, 
or DXF. This is the AutoCAD format, right? I would click on it. Then we can select these both formats, DWG and DXF. We will lose the textures of our images, but we will keep the lines as vectors. To be honest, I don't think that this is the purpose of a layout presentation to send these lines to AutoCAD. Anyways, we will save it. Again, we have here more or less the same options, the pages that we want to export, the format, layers, and other possibilities. Export and accept. And here we have that file ready to be opened in AutoCAD. To be honest, if we wanted to use this option to export our layout presentation in BWG, I would recommend you to do it from SketchUp, not Layout. Remember that in SketchUp we have as well that option available. We should go over File, Export, 2D Graphic, and here we should select AutoCAD DWG file. Anyways, remember that your layout file is always linked with your SketchUp model. And the main purpose of this software is to help you in order to make presentations in a more attractive and complete way, always using your 3D models made before in SketchUp. At the same time, it will help you to save time in case that you want to make changes in that 3D model in SketchUp, and it will help you as well to include dimensions, titles, notes, callouts, and so on. Time to say goodbye now. I really hope that you have enjoyed this course. It's been a long time together learning this amazing program, SketchUp and Layout, which in my opinion is a part of SketchUp. I would be super happy if you leave a comment and I can hear from you. And in case that you are interested in keep learning with me, I can recommend you the Lumion course in where we will learn how to render our 3D model to get photorealistic images and in where we will be using as well this Barcelona pavilion which I am sure that you know already super good. Bye bye!